Ivanovic. And now entering the ring, fighting out the red corner. He weighed in at 197 pounds. Fighting out of urban boxing, Bethesda train by David Basajamu. Here is Michael, the Thunder Mike Solo Solomon. Michael Solomon fighting out of the urban boxing gym in Bethesda, trained by David Basajamu. Can you help me with that, Joe? Besajamuli. That's a spelling bee uh, final question if I've ever seen one, Larry. But I love the walkout music. Well, you know what? These two guys are kind of kind of in my wheelhouse in terms of generation here. Larry, we got the first robe of the night. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is awesome. Well, he's got to have a robe because oh, he's yeah. 63 years old, Joe. He might fight with that this, robe. This is what we call the master's division. Man, this guy's in my wheelhouse, 6 foot, 198. Absolutely. That Michael the Thunder weight. Solomon and his opponent fighting out of Croatia, Pierre Simunovic. And we're going to call him Pierre. There he is. He's 61 years old. And he is the U.S. ambassador for Croatia. He is a diplomat in this country. There's no diplomacy or uh, any uh, pleasant streets here tonight. Which is absolutely impressive to me that he is here doing this. This is a man doesn't need to do this, Joe. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got a great opportunity here tonight Please to represent his country. In the corner, he um, weighed in at one hundred ninety-three pounds. So Croatia has a nice coastline, doesn't it? Absolutely. Trained by Lawrence Randall. A lot of the neighbors would, would love to would love, a, would love to see a peak of the ocean, but no, they got to lock down. Per Simonovic is the U.S. ambassador for Croatia. 61 years old, weighs in at 193, 5 foot 10 inches tall. Fights out of the urban boxing, foggy bottom gin. You're very familiar with that. Absolutely. That's uh, spent a lot of time in there. And uh, those are great people. Best of the best. Um, had a great, I owe a lot to those guys. This should be an interesting fight. We'll see these veterans. Beyond veterans, 63 and 61 years old. This is a, this is a challenge for a 23-year-old to do this. Absolutely. Hey, Larry, I feel like we're at Rocky number uh, 11 at this point. You maybe. Know? Maybe I should try this next this year, Joe. You never know. I'll train you. Gold sponsor, the Green Turtle, Silver. Solo family and friends. Green Turtle, Bronze, fantastic John establishment. Love the Green Turtle. I Kansas. love the Green Turtle. They got these ha these uh, these these rib ham hammers. Those you can eat a thousand of those. Hundred percent. I grew up at the Green Turtle down in Ocean City. Come on, it's the best. It's the best. That's one of the most classic bars I've ever been to uh, in my time down here in the United States. Also, thank you to Johns Hopkins Kimmel Cancer Center at Sibley for supporting this fight, sponsoring and Solo family and friends along with the Green Turtle. Much appreciate the support. And again, Per Simonovic is in the blue corner. Michael of Thunder Solomon is in the red corner. Both men in their 60s. Let's see how this one turns out. It's coming in blue corner here, Larry. You're picking the blue corner. Blue You're corner. picking Mr. Ambassador. And Solomon in the red. As a Hungarian, I'm uh, I'm leaning on my Eastern European brethren here. Also, as a as a Canadian loyal. as a Canadian fighter who was fighting representing my country, I am sympathetic to uh, the other foreigner here. Foreigner here. And you like the foreign underdog. Absolutely. And right now, Solomon trying to smother the reach advantage of Simonovic, and I like Simonovic's uh, nonstop punching. He just keeps on piston-like punches, scoring with that right hand repeatedly. Solomon trying to maul him, trying to crown him, but he's not throwing any punches. Got to give it to both men, though. Solomon switches southpaw quickly here. Got a punch from that stance, though. And Simonovich I think with a couple quick ones there, Larry. 
Simonovic just overpowering him early, but there's a long way to go. We'll see if they can hold up. Michael the Thunder Solomon switching back and forth. Conventional, now southpaw, back to conventional. Eats one right on the lips from Mr. Ambassador. Great punch there. Now Solomon connecting with a little combination. And again, the power of the punch is not as important as them connecting, Joe. Absolutely. It's not, the, it's not how many you throw. It's how many you land. Yes, sir. Very quick round. And you, I want to make note, you picked the ambassador from Croatia. I'm just hoping to get invited to Christmas. In the blue. You might year, get invited yeah, to yeah, the yeah. embassy. You never know. <laughs> got to play your cards right. So round one of the books looked like a good one, in fact, for the ambassador from Croatia, Per Simonovic. Ring card warriors Tiffany Haynes, who was diagnosed with stage 2B breast cancer in 2018, is currently cancer-free. That is fantastic. Great news. Best news I've heard all night. Give me back as a young advocate volunteer for living beyond breast cancer. Well, hats off to you, Tiffany. You're a warrior. Absolutely. And, uh, that is fantastic news. I think it's really cool how uh, how people are, you know, the, the, the ring warriors in between rounds. I, I think it's really cool how we integrate them in, into this and their stories. And, you know, all, like I said at the beginning of the broadcast, everybody has been affected by cancer at some point in their life. And um, I, think it's, I think it's only right we tell these stories. It's inspiring. You're not alone. And uh, there are other people out there just like you, and we'll all get through this together. Seconds right? out, seconds out. Andrew Myerson, the CEO, needs to be commended. He's a good dude, and you know what? He keeps adding to this event every year, improving the event. Yeah, absolutely. Round and we two. are set for round two. And again, Michael the Thunder Solomon in the red. And the southpaw stands. I, I think you got to give it to the ambassador from Croatia, Per Simonovic, round one, right? Absolutely. I like Per. I like Per's defensive posture. I thought it was a bit of an awkward fight in the first 15, 20 seconds. He kind of eased. Both men eased into it, and uh, I like the way that Per brought it. But I got to tell you, right now, Michael's really bringing the thunder. No pun intended. Well, I mean, he's bringing some rain at least. Absolutely. And you got to give him credit because he's sticking with that southpaw stance and he's and trying I, and, to connect. And as a southpaw myself, Larry, uh, I know how effective that stance can be, especially if you've been trained against it. So, what I like about him is that he goes back to orthodox once in a while, but he does it based on uh, the reaction out of out of pair. And I think that's an important thing to note here. A guy named Terrence Crawford who does the same thing rather seamlessly. Absolutely. And you know what? This fight has tightened up a little bit here as Solomon is just working on his technique, scoring blows, amateur fight, and the ambassador from Croatia, Per uh, Simonovic, not punching in round two. No, absolutely. I, I really like the way. I think I've, I've scored this so far for Solomon, I think, in the second round. And the fight slowed down. I think it's the pace that he wants to fight at. Per had a great right hook there. Another right, right hook. And both men a little arm weary at this point. I spoke too soon, Larry. I, I, I liked I liked uh, I liked Thunder in the beginning of the second round. I thought that uh, Mr. Ambassador came back and actually landed enough to make that uh, pretty much a draw. Well, like they say in DC, if you if you don't like the weather, just wait around; it'll change. And so the thunder turned into uh, maybe a little sprinkle there, but nonetheless a close fight. And you got to give these guys credit. And we've talked about it, so we're going to keep talking about it. Now, how long could these guys have been training for this? Four or five months. Couple months, couple four, four months. Four or five months. And uh, and really the process begins with sort of introduction to boxing, right? It's uh, it, boxing one. You get on a bag. You learn your basic punches, your jab, your cross, your rear hook, your front hook, uppercuts, etc. And then they work you into sort of the movement. How do you take a punch? How do you approach a fighter? And they work you up slowly to about a month in, month and a half in, where you get in the ring on sparring night. And, uh, and that's really where you get your first taste of it. And that's when boxing becomes real, real fast. And, uh, yeah, by, by, two, by month two or three, um, you're in the ring sparring two, three times a week. And, uh, and, and then and the next thing you know, it's showtime. You're here. You're on fight night. Folks, please participate in the silent auction. You can do it from wherever you may be. Text DC23 to 243-725. That's DC23 to 243-725. Everything will pop up on your phone and make a bid. Some incredible items here. Very affordable. Hay Haymakers for Hope. And also follow the organization at Haymakers for Hope. That's for the number Hope. Haymakers for Hope. 
Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, whatever you want to call it. Hashtag go, KO Cancer. KO Cancer. And the ambassador from Croatia, Per Simonovic in the blue, is kind of methodically winning this fight. I'm not sure Michael Thunder Solomon won the second round. It was close. I had a, I had a tie, 6-6. Six, six. So he's going to have to do something here. And he just, you know, the ambassador in the blue just keeps on moving forward. And obviously the action's slowing down for these gentlemen. Yeah, what I'm looking for here from, from the Thunder, Michael and Red, is, you know, when you get to that, that southpaw, throw your combination and then turn your hips quickly. Get that left hand up and, and fight back in your orthodox stance. Try to throw off uh, the, the ambassador here when he's, he's really reacting to that, to that left hook. Get him to bring that right hand up. You might be surprised at the opportunity that opens up here. Boy, the sound of the bell is going to sound sweet to these two guys. They go the distance. Call, Real tough. Last round was uh, just a, a, an indication of the fatigue for both these gentlemen. Joe, who did you have winning this fight? I think you might have gotten this one. I like the ambassador tonight, Larry. I think that uh, he thought he fought a hell of a first round. I thought the second round was pretty tight, if not maybe slight edge to the Thunder. Um, but the third round was all ambassador. And I think uh, I think the folks tuning in here from Croatia, um, from the beach in Croatia, will be pretty pleased this evening. I mean, I, I welcome everyone from Croatia watching us live because that's your ambassador here in the United States. And that's a pretty uh, pretty brave thing for him to do. Absolutely. Does he have a security detail in the corner? I don't know. I don't know, but he's probably double parked out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Good folks, you see a red and white checkered uh, license plate. Be not alarmed. That's just the beautiful Croatian flag. There he is. The ambassador from Croatia here at Haymakers for Hope. Gosh, you got it. You got to be rock. impressed we by got a that. Rock. We got like a rocky uh, soundtrack going here, partner. I love it. Love it. And the decision going to be read by Discombobulated Jones, famed worldwide ring announcer. Here we go. Oh, no, what a shocker. 